Hello everybody, I'm Noob Noob Fruit and in this video we're gonna check out the new Valorant patch notes for episodes for Disruption which will be live in a couple of hours. So I'm absolutely excited for that and of course we got a couple of changes to the game itself. So as you can see, uh, they changed like the weapons, they changed the uh, the map itself and they fixed a couple of bugs. So for the weapons, uh, they aim for the, uh, for the uh, knife, the melee. So knifing somebody is now gonna feel much more, uh, I guess, uh, satisfying uh, because the right click hitbox is now like 1.5 larger and uh, like uh, like it's gonna it's gonna encourage people to use their knives whenever whenever somebody gets close to you maybe you should resort to your knife because uh, as they say in the in the patch notes uh, that the people don't really tend to use their knives at all uh, except like for memeing on somebody or like uh, killing somebody who's AFK. So uh, now, like knifing somebody could be a viable option in a fight when you're when you're out of ammo and you don't want to reload. So that's basically it. I'm just gonna sum up the the patch notes. Of course, I will leave a link in the description box below for this page if you want to come and read it for yourself. For the Spectre they uh, reduce the accuracy of it like uh, at long range so you will no longer be able to like uh, i guess uh, melt somebody with a specter from long range it's, it should be a medium to uh, close range weapon next for the aris they remove the spin up which is huge and they increase the fire rate from 10 to 13 so uh, the aris is not going to be a mini odin anymore it's going to be a uh, an instant like shooting gun just like the, the vandal and it's going to have uh, more fire rate so you should be seeing a lot of aris weapons uh, in the game next for the guardian they remove the uh, penalty for adsing so you can no longer ads with a guardian and for the bulldog they increase the hip fire and uh, reduce some of the inaccuracy with it so uh, a mini buff for the bulldog and a, a mini buff for the guardian next for the map updates so for bind we got a couple of uh, like uh, like cool updates so instead of this right here on ct like the the double wooden boxes they uh, changed it into this right here so uh if you're attacking here if you're pushing like uh if you're pushing like a short uh you can literally like jump on top on top of these and you will no longer be like uh hindered with, with the sage walls or like any other type of wall so you can just simply jump on top of it so this will no longer be wallable i suppose uh you're just gonna have to guard it with your life uh, next we have the corner right behind it so as you can see right here it was uh, completely empty and uh, as they say it wasn't really used that much people will just camp here so yeah, they added this right here <laughs> so you can like put traps right here so if somebody walks all the way from the uh from the uh like door right here they, they, you can like place killjoy traps or chamber traps you can also place traps over here and here so that's pretty cool it's a nice change next for breeze breeze got a lot of changes so on the A side right here, as you can see, there's this little, this little corner right here. So uh, like uh, like traditionally, you cannot hide here. This is a very, very bad spot to be in. So they did this. They literally like enlarged the thing. So you can hide here and the enemy can hide over here. And as you can see, there's a little space between them. So this is pretty safe, like relatively safe. If you're uh, like, if you have an escape or anything, you can, you can, you can camp here, of course. Uh, next, they changed this right here. So this is uh, attacker side on uh, like on the... Uh, uh, a side attacker side <laughs> so uh, this did not have any like any like uh cover over here so pushing this tunnel was literally hell uh, impossible to push especially when people like camp uh, right behind the pyramids right here uh, they would have uh, like ops and marshals and you would be absolutely melted so your only like option was to push from here uh, so they added this the wooden the double like wooden boxes so it's here it's not gonna be like uh, immune to uh, bullets and like stuff like that so it's just a temporary uh, I guess uh, obstacle that you can use uh, to your advantage to push the site itself, which is awesome. Next, for the uh, defender side on a site, uh, they literally uh, changed all of this right here. So no longer will you have the triple like uh, wooden boxes. They added a gigantic kingdom box, <laughs> which is like metal, so it's it should be like immune to all uh, like to all bullets or bullet types. So you can just camp here and you can like uh, make sure to defend the site as hard as you can. Uh, also, they did not mention this in the in the pictures, but they enlarged the uh, body of water uh, like surrounding the two pyramids. So this should be a uh, I guess an advantage for defenders uh, because attackers like can no longer like hide right here in this corner, just keep peeking and, and peeking back off and on and off and on, uh, which is which was like uh, super bad I guess. <laughs> so uh, the water now goes all the way to the corner, as you can see right here. And uh, next for the uh, I guess for mid mid side i don't know what you call this like the, the little like tunnel that leads to uh to b side uh this the change is i don't know why they change this i don't and I, have, I haven't had any problems with this but you see this little corner right here like this little like corner on the outside 
they removed it they completely removed it so it's this right here <laughs> so if you if you peek from over the wall so if you manage to jump on top of the wall you can literally like uh, see whoever whoever pushes this side right here so yeah that's that's something uh next for the uh b side on uh, defender side i suppose so they added this so you can have these double boxes right here so this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now you have this gigantic wall right over here so you can just camp behind it for whoever who pushes and you have these double boxes right here so you can like, set up your killjoy bot you can set up whatever you want so that's something and uh, i believe that's it yep <laughs> that's all the uh changes uh the rest are like bugs that uh like bugs and uh, like i guess uh, uh ranked like competitive stuff so if you want to read that on your own that's up to you of course uh the one funny thing that i would uh, they would like i would address is this uh so apparently whenever you use a uh, killjoy like thing banner here right here it's gonna like enlarge the picture automatically and uh, they are keeping it so it's called known yet beloved issues we love her uh, we love her too but we're going to have to fix that banner but not until patch 4.01 so have fun so i guess hashtag white joy is still here <laughs> so if you want to make that trending i guess keep white joy and uh, yeah this is actually it like i said i will leave a uh, link in the uh, in the uh, uh, like description box uh, for this uh, site if you want to come and read it for yourself and of course tomorrow uh, we should be getting a bunch of updates including like the battle pass and all the new stuff so expect a bunch of videos on that and yeah, that's practically it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.